hello everyone in this video we are going to make this cool text animation uh, with the geometry nodes and the shader nodes so it is completely procedural so you can use uh, any text or dynamic text and as well as you can use a different uh, image for this effect so it is really easy so let's uh, make this effect okay so first we need a uh, image plane uh, so i'm going to use this image uh, for this effect and here we have this image plane so let's first rotate this by uh, 90 to the x-axis so that it face the front and uh, we can view this uh, this one and let me increase the size a scale of this by 25 times so that will give a nice uh, smooth fall off uh, when we uh that we need uh, for the text so let's add the text here and also rotate the text with the x-axis and then i'm going to type here 3d and let's also change the font of this text so now we have this uh text uh, let me align this uh, to the center of this image I think it is fine. So let's add the geometry nodes. I'm going to name this as text weight. So then basically we're going to build a fall off based on the mesh means mesh of this uh, text. We also need to add uh, some thickness to the text. So let's add uh, some extrusion to this so that it covers uh, this plane. Okay so for that let's uh, first bring this text here and then we're going to add the proximity node and then we need the map range node okay so with this basically we're going to convert this uh, distance into minimum one and a maximum to zero so it means uh, the weight which is close uh, which is one for the vertices which are nearby this uh, text and the vertices which are far uh, from this text going to have this uh, zero weight let's store them as an attribute okay store name node and we're going to store that on the point domain so to see this uh, in the viewport we need to add that in the material of this plane so this is the material of the plane so let's add the attribute node here and type here our text so now let's go to the material preview and we can see nothing because our plane has only four vertices so let's first add uh, some subdivision to this plane let's add uh, some basic subdivision uh, to overall this plane and also along this axis uh, something like this and then i'm going to add more subdivision only near to this plane so that will help to again uh, more performance with the geometry nodes so let's subdivide them let's add more subdivision to this section i think even one step more okay so that will give us smooth uh, weight uh, for this text so now let's uh, view them in the material preview so let me decrease the distance length to 0.05 now we have a weight for the outline of this text so to get uh, the weight inside this text or to fill the weight inside the text uh, for that we are going to use uh, the recast node so recast node for the target we're going to use this uh, text geometry as target geometry and then for the direction we're going to use the normal of the original vertices means the source position which is the vertices of this uh, mesh and then we're going to uh, do the dot product with the hit vertices oh uh, sorry hit normal which are the normal uh, from this text uh, the dot product will be one uh, when the ray hit uh, the this text otherwise it will be a zero so let's add the greater 
then node and uh, type here 0.5 now we view them in the this as a attribute we can see that it is one inside the text and outside it is uh, zero and now let's combine them with the maximum operation uh, so let's also plug this into this and now we have this both file off okay one file off uh, from the proximity node and another from the this raycast node so this is basically a mesh file off based on the faces a group node that i have added to my preset okay so if you have my preset then you will uh, you can add that a node here instead of adding these uh, these nodes now let's go uh, to the uh, shader nodes so we have this and now we are going to add the color ramp node uh, to this a uh, weight text weight and i'm going to flip this so i'll explain in a moment why we need to flip this then we are going to add the math node and this node has very nice operation which is smooth minimum so basically if we increase the distance it going to smoothly goes to the value that is minimum in this uh, text uh, so in this uh, case uh, text value which is a zero so if i increase the distance see it is everything become uh, black and if we combine uh, the uh, values from this texture which is image texture and with the the weight of the text then we will get a smooth uh, transition from the texture uh, to the uh, this text so first we need to uh, flip this uh, this texture uh, using color ramp means color values let me change this to reset this is the original values and if we flip this we get these values and now let's use this as our uh, the comparison value for this smooth a minimum operation and i'm going to also slightly make them contrasting like 0.85 and also change this uh, to ease so we get a um, more smooth um, uh, text weight now if i uh, increase the distance see everything become black it start from the image texture and then goes to the text and it will be more clear if i add more handles to this color ramp node so let's add one more and this will have going to have one value and this will going to have value around 8.8 .8. now if i increase the distance see uh, we have one a ring around this text so basically the effect we are going to build is uh, that means uh, fire it's like a lava and fire material for this image plane means fire start from the, this image texture and then end at the text and here is another uh, problem with the weight from the geometry nodes is that it has these jagged edges that we can easily fix this by uh, clipping the dark values okay let me show you this see this is around 0.9 7 or 5 okay now we have this uh, smooth edges and next uh, we're going to duplicate this color ramp node and also reset this and then we're going to add a uh, uh, make a transition type means uh, for the fire okay and for that i'm going to position this handle at 0.215 uh, these values are from my uh, from the animation that i showed you in the intro these values give a nice uh, effect and you can also uh, play with uh, these values 0.275 and make this to zero 
now if i increase the distance you will see this white color uh, start from this image texture and then goes to the text see and it also has a flash that will give a very nice effect okay now let's uh, mix this uh, shader with the emission shader and then we need the emission and let's plug this as a factor and let's uh, view them and i'm going to use a uh, orange red orange color for this for the fire and make the strength to 30 and we're going to also use this as our specular map and for the color uh, i'm going to use the gray color because it is all for the lava means uh, for solid uh, lava so now if i increase the distance see we have this kind of effect and next what we're going to do is enable the bloom and also uh, in the color management change this standard to filmic and this to very high contrast so we have this and and let's also align the camera rotate on x-axis then g y something like this and i'm going to also decrease the strength of this hdr image because i'm going to use uh, the light to relight uh, the scene uh, so let's add the spotlight and increase its strength to 4000 and blend to 1 this to 135 then I rotate this on the x axis and move this along the y axis maybe g y something like this and next uh, we are going to use this factor for the height in the bump map so let's plug this into the normal so we have this now if i increase the distance you will see this see this text has no bumps but as the distance uh, increases it the bumps are appears to this text this is really cool and let's also add another math node change this to subtract and now we can also push back these uh, these bumps from the textures when the distance is zero make this value around 0.45 uh, so there is almost no bumps but as the distance increase we have this bumps and i think we also need to invert this uh, bump this height in the bump node and now let's animate this distance okay add the value node here and i'm going to do this animation for 96 frames so zero and then at the end it's going to be around three uh, more than slightly three three point twenty four okay and change the interpolation to linear so now we have this kind of uh, animation for the effect and next uh, we're going to do is that our image is still and so the this background is not moving uh, we can animate that uh, with the noise is by mixing the noise uh, to the vector this vector mapping so let's mix the noise with rgb node let me align these nodes and i'm going to also disable this auto offset yeah now let's add the noise and make everything zero zero and only the scale will do around five 
and change this factor around 1.5 and to offset that you can also use this 4D noise but it is a bit expensive to compute so I'm going to use uh, this math node uh, vector math node with add operation so that we can offset the noise to get the desired look uh, to this image so for this particular image i found uh, this value 1.1 give this a nice effect uh, to the eyes of this creature means it is it looks more angry as we play with this uh, factor so now let's animate this vector initially it will be a uh, zero and after the flash means just after this flash we're going to make this around 0.15 and if we play this uh, let me also uh, yeah okay see it is moving but after the flash, um, it, it suddenly stop. So this look a bit weird. Means after the flash, uh, this uh, the uh, movement of this lava becomes slow. Okay. So we can uh, do that uh, with uh, the in the graph editor. So let's press home key. Now let's first make this first key almost linear and then we are going to uh, duplicate uh, this key shift D I press shift S and then we can add this select to current frame okay and then slightly move this along the Y axis somewhere here and also make this handle a small let me also move this down slightly now you will see that after this transition means after this flash uh, this movement of this background becomes slow like means after the flash lava becomes cold and stop means it is moving slowly yeah it is fine and you can use any image for this maybe at uh, this on uh, this image uh, you will get a uh, different uh, look uh, to the fire transitions let's see you have different look uh, to the fire this is it and if you want to download these project files and other presets you can download uh, that from my patreon page if you like this work then please do support me and subscribe to my channel for more updates. Until next time, happy noding. Bye.